Uh, yeah, I need a jacket, um, but that's why we didn't do the stopover or take advantage of the Iceland Air stopover, but next time. Basically, you can stop over for up to seven days for free, which is amazing, because it looks like such a cool place to visit. So, next time, for now, we're just here for a few hours, and then on our next flight. These are the typical sweaters, traditional sweaters here in Iceland. And the airport's nice, clean, new, but everything's closed because it's 11.30 at night, so everything's closed. So I'm more grateful for my mom who cooked me some food before I left and packed it in my bag. It wasn't going to take it, but looking around, it's kind of a ghost town, so glad I have something with me. 11.30 in Iceland. Everything is closed. So grateful. Did you ever think we would be having Bronte in Iceland? The first crowd. So we're just getting on our flight to Paris now from Iceland. And there were two lines to get onto the plane, and one had a ton of people who were in that one. And the other one had just like one lady going. And Kanal said, What does Kanal say? Let's go in this line. And I said, well, we don't know why there's nobody lined up there. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, and he's like, whatever, let's just try. And it turns out that was the line that we, you know, we're supposed to be in. So just goes to show that if you're assertive and you take a chance, you just might luck out. thing so they have these smoking boxes in the airport so that people can smoke and it doesn't affect the other people that don't smoke which is amazing because um, in Paris people smoke everywhere so it's nice to see that, you drink that beer. has kind of mythos mythos yeah that's the beer here um, but yeah just the fact that like that's so shows so much courtesy to other people too and and their health right like if you choose not to then you shouldn't be subjected to it all the time how's my posture it's great good job where's the self-force conference um it's in athens convention center oh okay we have, there a now. Booth. we have a booth there <laughs> it seems like finally it's been hours and hours we're so exhausted now we're finally boarding our last flight to Athens. Is that it? Yeah, I want to sleep. <laughs> no, I want to shower. I want to sleep and get out of there and to the airport and punch a gyro in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Smash a gyro into your face. Gyro. Anyway, one more flight. Uh, we can book it to get our train, which 
only leaves every half hour. So if we miss it, we're gonna lose another half hour, which we don't wanna do. So we're traveling for 24 hours. So hoping to get there quick and more from the road. Excuse me. Grand Britannia and it's so beautiful so far. I'm kind of excited to see the room. Yeah, really, really nicely decorated. Beautiful. It's very luxurious. Bougie. Bougie. <laughs> After hours and hours of traveling and being away from home, it was such a luxury to walk into this room. Oh. Made it all worth it. Seeing the room and the hotel, it is totally worth it. Mm -hmm. Wow, nice bathroom. I have not pay. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so this is the grand first tour. Oh wow, look at this light fixture. Lovely. I should put my things down. Like literally you just walked in. <laughs> Chandelier. Pretty. Oh, look at this painting. Now you know you're in Athens. Lovely. How do you get into the balcony? For your own safety. Oh, wow, cool. Oh, you have to undo this. Look, up here. You're kindly requested to lock your balcony. Look, this thing. I know. I don't know. It looks over one of the main squares. This is Sigtama Square. Is that how you say it? Something like that, yeah. Oh, I love these little chairs outside. the main square in Athens, one of them. It's like the main subway stop is right underneath the hotel, which is amazing. So convenient. <laughs> 